Hello and welcome to Cricket World TV. I'm John Pennington. With me today is Alistair Sars. And we've just, been, we've just finished commentating on the India-Bangladesh ICC World 2020 match at Trent Bridge. And the match turned out to be something of an anti-climax, Al. Yes, it certainly did, John. After the day's play at the Oval, we went uh, up to Trent Bridge to, to uh, see the uh, India versus Bangladesh game. And um, yeah, it, it, it went off at the end. 180 for 5 India posted, Gautam Gumbi making a very good 50 and then Yuval Singh really giving their innings crucial momentum with 41 in 18 balls and Bangladesh then closed on 155 for 8. Junai Siddiqui batted beautifully, made 41 in 22 but their innings was undone by spin. Left arm spinner Pragyanja on debut taking 4 for 21, I think you were impressed with that performance now. It was a, it was a special spell of bowling and um he got the Man of the Match award quite rightly for it. However, I think Yuraj Singh's uh, innings of 41 of only 18 deliveries actually turned the match in India's favour. They looked like getting only around the 150 mark and he made the score you know, out of reach for Bangladesh. Complete, a complete performance from the reigning champions then? Yes, very professional. They went out there. They probably were quite happy with the number of runs they got in the end, but that was entirely due to Yuraj Singh. And they bowled and fielded particularly well. And again, Yuraj Singh took two good catches and kept the pressure on the Bangladeshi batsmen. Busy day for us here at Cricket World. We had two matches beforehand just to briefly pick out some of the highlights of those. The first game of the day, rain reduced that to seven overs aside. Scotland against New Zealand. Scotland batted exceptionally well. They made 89 for four. And uh, then New Zealand were good enough, as you would expect, but there's a few little hiccups along the way. Uh, 90 for 3, they made Jesse Ryder batted beautifully. But Scotland, at moments, they were all top out, weren't they? They certainly were, and they batted superbly well. Ryan Watson had a great all round performance, and he was only allowed to bowl one over. If he had bowled two overs, I think that could have uh, made it a far closer uh, game, and Scotland may even have won. And uh, after that, we had a, a stunning display of power hitting from the West Indies' Chris Gale. Australia batting first, they reduced to 15 for 3. They recovered to make 169 for 7, but uh, that was never enough for Chris Gale. He thumped 88 in 50 balls, 6 sixes, a couple of them almost out of the oval as the West Indies cruised to 172 for 3, it's just in under. 16 overs, that was uh, an outrageous performance. Uh. Well, I've, I've never seen anything like it. I don't think the Australian team have ever seen anything like it. And watching them, I don't think I've ever seen a team dominate Australia as the West Indies did, or as Chris Scale did, on his own. It was just an unbelievable batting performance. Never seen anything like it, but I'm sure we'll see something like it again. Well, something we were saying is 2020 seems to have just moved up a level now. Yeah, it's, it's no longer good enough to um, say that uh, scoring a runner ball is good enough as a batsman. The, the top end batsmen need to be scoring, I think, one and a half runs. You need to be getting those maximums, you need to be hitting the ropes, the boundaries, ropes and out of the ground. And that's something that England will do well to take on more tomorrow because that's our next live unofficial audio commentary. England and Pakistan tomorrow, we've also got Scotland and South Africa. And uh, join us again on cricketworld.com. Thanks very much for watching.